if you're part of control group Kepler-7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you've forgotten it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're going to need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. That's how we get up there. I'm telling them, keep your pants on. All right, this next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, word of advice, if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time. Entirely. Forward and backward. So, do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business. So, we'll do that there. We'll fall down here. All right, so we're up here now, and oh, you know what I forgot to do? We actually have to go and we're gonna need that in a second. You'll see why. made to be, right? Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to jump off the ledge. It's going to bounce us up there. You're like, Ross, you're, you're crazy. I'm like, I know. So, we will... again to wash the blue stuff off because you're gonna have to put it on here and then we get up there and how do I get up there oh I know some bouncy bounce okay we're gonna have to put the bouncy bounce Right up there, above the block, make it rain. Science isn't enough. Why? And we go in here. Why not? Why is most of our science dangerous? Why not marry safe science that you love so much? In fact, why not invent a special safety door that won't hit you on the butt on the way out because you are fired? Now you test subject, you're doing fine. Yes, you, box, your stuff, out the front door, parking lot, car, goodbye. Um, that's it for Ross Gaming Portal 2. Until next time. Until next time.